Morning student, myself Mukesh Yadav from Yes Convent Senior Secondary School, Sormur Sultanpur. Student, today my topic is for class 11th. Is topic is variation of gravity with altitude and depth. Variation of variation of gravity means small g with with depth and altitude and altitude 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 now we start the topic variation of g with depth and altitude now student firstly we consider let the sphere is considered as a sphere so it have a center uh, on uh, we can say that the center is represented as o and an object we can say that a body a mass of m is projected at the surface of the earth and the distance from the center of the earth of the object is r and we uh, we can say that the object is uh, going on depth at point b at point b then at point b we have obtained the gravity acceleration due to gravity at point b the distance between point a and v is d then the distance of at the center of earth and the point b is r minus d because the distance of uh, the body a and v is capital r so on this point the distance uh, between o and v is small d now we have know that we know that we know that know that the gravity uh, the gravity small g is equal to capital g into capital m upon r square and the and we know that the mass the mass of the earth the mass of the earth of the earth small capital m is equal to we can say that the product of density and density and the product of density and volume volume student we have considered that the earth is a, a sometime the earth is a sphere so the volume of the sphere so the volume of the sphere is equal to 4 upon 3 pi r cube 4 upon 3 pi r cube at point a this is consider at at point a at point a and and the <coughs> and the acceleration due to gravity at point b the acceleration the acceleration due to gravity at point b firstly we have uh, uh, find out the gravity small g on the basis of this value g into capital m is equal to rho into 4 upon 3 pi r cube 4 upon 3 pi r cube upon here is the r square here is the r square so upon r square so now r square and r cube in in which we can cancel out finally we have g into rho into 4 upon 3 pi r pi r this is consider as equation first this is consider as equation first now we find out the gravity at point b uh, we can find out the gravity at point b is is <coughs> is the gravity at point at point b point b we have find out the gravity we know that uh, we know that here the here 
the volume of this sphere is less than the volume of at the uh, this this sphere also less than the volume of this sphere is less than the volume of this sphere now uh, we have finally find out the the <coughs> gravity at point b d, d is equal to g d is equal to g m m dash m dash upon r minus d square because because on this on this sphere the radius of this sphere is r minus d the radius of this sphere is r minus d so the gravity of this sphere of this sphere is equal to that and in which we find out the mass the mass of this sphere is equal to rho rho means density and the product of volume and this sphere volume is 4 upon 3 pi r minus d whole cube pi r minus d whole cube and and finally we find out the gd is equal to gd is equal to g m on the place of m dash we put out this values we have we have rho into 4 upon 3 pi r minus d ka whole square and upon r minus d whole square so we have here is r cube because the uh, the volume of this sphere is that now we have gd is equal to gd is equal to g into rho into 4 upon 3 pi r r minus d whole cube upon upon r minus d here is cancel out so finally we have so finally we have finally we have only 4 upon 3 pi r minus d this is equation number second now now we have divided now divided 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 equation second by equation first we have we have we have we get gd upon g here is the equation first here is the equation first so finally we have g into rho into 4 upon 3 pi r minus d upon r minus d upon g into rho into 4 upon 3 pi r 4 upon 3 pi r so here g is g cancel out rho rho also cancel out 4 upon 3 and 4 upon 3 pi r pi cancel out and finally we have gd upon g is equal to r minus d upon r so it solve after solving it we have we have we have the values gd upon gd upon g is equal to r minus d upon r upon r so finally we have gd upon g is equal to 1 minus d upon r and finally we have gd is equal to gd is equal to g into 1 minus d upon r so student here we have the find out the acceleration due to gravity at point at point b we can say that in the depth of earth we have the gravity small gd is equal to g into 1 minus d upon r it is it is always <laughs> it is always we have this formula and finally we have uh, we have describe another formula means we can say that we are, we, have, we are find out a relation between a relation between a 
relation relation between between small gh and gd for for same change in for same change in small g this relation is also known as the relation between uh, variation of uh, at the altitude and the variation in depth variation in depth means is can say that gd so student we have know that we know that we know that know that the variation the variation means gh is equal to g into 1 minus 2h upon r 1 minus 2h upon r this is equation number first and uh, it, it is the uh, variation in g at the altitude this is the altitude this is the variation of g at the altitude means at the at a height height h so and also and also we have in uh, above at uh, slide we have found out the variation in in the g in the depth gd is equal to g into 1 minus d by r where d is the depth of the earth sphere it is the depth depth relation depth relation depth relation depth relation <coughs> relation so uh, so this is equation number second and for the and for the same value same change in same change in g we have b have b have gh is equal to gh is equal to gd gh is equal to gd so uh, we can say that we can say that <coughs> the value of gs means this value is equal to this value now we have 1 minus 2h upon r is equal to 1 minus d upon r 1 minus d upon r so finally we have solve out 2h upon minus 2h upon r is equal to minus d by r so finally we have d is equal to 2h d is equal to 2h it means the acceleration due to gravity at the earth surface is twice of the height is twice of the height on the basis of this topic we have a numerical for this topic we have a numerical for this topic the numerical is the numerical is find the find the height of height of the earth surface the earth surface the earth surface if if the depth of the depth of a mine is the depth of a mine is 80 km the depth of mine is 80 km then find the height of the earth surface student in previous slide we have discussed about the we have discussed about the relation between variation in altitude and variation of g in depth and find out a relation and find out a relation here give uh, given that given that given that d is equal to 80 km and we have find out h and we uh, know that b know that the know that the relation d is equal to 2h d is equal to 
टू एच सो एच इज इक्वल टू डी बाई टू डी बाई टू एंड फाइनली वी हैव एच इज इक्वल टू एट्टी अपॉन टू एंड एच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी किलोमीटर फोर्टी किलोमीटर हियर इज द फाइनल आंसर सो फाइनली बाई दिस नोमेरिकल वी कैन से दैट द ग्रेविटी द ग्रेविटी वेरिएशन इन एट्टी किलोमीटर डिप्थ इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू वी कैन शो रिप्रेजेंटेड इट इन अ फिगर वी हैव देन इफ द डेफ्थ इज एट्टी किलोमीटर ऑन दिस द ग्रेविटी इट इज इक्वल टू द अर्थ सर्फेस फोर्टी किलोमीटर्स ऑल्सो सो दैट इज ऑल टूडे वी हैव डिस्कस टू टॉपिक इज द वेरिएशन ऑफ जी विथ डेप्थ एंड वी फाइनली फाइंड आउट अ रिलेशन अ रिलेशन बिटवीन जी एच एंड जी डी वेयर जी एच इज वेयर जी एच इज द वेरिएशन ऑफ द एल्टीट्यूड एंड जी डी इज द वेरिएशन ऑफ द वेरिएशन ऑफ जी एट डेप्थ एंड अ रिलेशन रिलेशन वी हैव फाउंड आउट एंड फाइनली वी सॉल्व अ न्यूमेरिकल Thank you have a nice day